Salut, c'est Shox de G2. Today, I'm going to talk about how to play the Z rotator position with a rifle on train. You'll notice with a rifle, you can really position yourself in many different areas, whether in an aggressive manner with a teammate outside or falling back to your teammate on the inner bomb site. Overall, the goal here is to delay the rush with utility, and from there, coordinating your positioning in various areas outside and inside. Now I'll show you in game. Alright guys, so we're on CT side of the train. As the Z rotator, with an M4 or any other rifle for that matter, one of the initial goals is to play the anti-rush with teammates, help slow down the T-connector rush with utility, and establish outside control. So, whether you use a molly, smoke, or a flash, it needs to be cohesive, so you must communicate with your teammates beforehand. It's best to follow up a molly with a flash, so you must communicate with your teammates that are with you to make sure you aren't double mollying the same area. So if your teammate throws the molly, you throw the flash, or if you throw the molly, then he throws the flash. Once the beginning of the round is secure and the rush has been countered, there are several setups you can play. You can play aggressively with your teammates, in which case you can push up towards ladder, e-box, red train, or blue train, etc. One player can play the bait role, while the other plays more passive until it is time to peek and join the fight. In any event, it is important to play in conjunction with your teammate when playing aggressively because a solo M4 will be vulnerable to both ladder and T-connector and it's too difficult to, for him to defend both zones. Therefore, if you want to advance, you must do so together and communicate exactly what each of you are defending and set up crossfires. Those were some of the aggressive setups you can run. Now, there are several passive options you can take advantage of, one being a boost in Z that will allow you to have incredible visibility on T-Connector, but will also allow you to be in a good position to be able to quick rotate for inside if your teammate in B needs help. Going back to using utility for specific setups, for example, on rounds that you know you're going to need to stack four players outside, some rounds you can throw a smoke lower at the beginning of the round so that your solo B player may hold his utility for later in the round. On the contrary, if you're playing outside and decide to rotate to inside, it can be helpful to out for the outside players if you first smoke off ladder, for example, before rotating. This will allow you to then really commit to a two-man inner setup, whether it's a passive or aggressive setup. As always, the principles of team crossfires pertain here. For example, one watching upper while the other watching lower, and both of you working off of each other. Again, it's all a matter of you and your teammates coordinating what each of you are covering and setting up various crossfires. It is incredibly advantageous to the CTs once you position yourself in these areas, as long as you're playing cohesively with your teammate and not trying to make solo plays. So whether you're trying to reinforce certain areas with utility or setting up crossfires. In general, train is a very difficult map for the terrorists to gain information or to find picks on the CTs. So the more you play team play or conduct on CT, the better it will go. This was a tutorial on how to play the Z rotator position on train with a rifle. This is Shox from G2. I hope you enjoyed it. What up guys, this is Jordan Austin Gilbert. We work with the world's top pros to teach you how to take your game to the next level with constantly updated training content. When you're done watching and want to train or warm up, just a few clicks will put you in your preferred training mods like Deathmatch. Why warm up for a match on Mirage by getting shot in the back on Dust 2? That's why we built duels, real fights and real maps. One minute in duels is like 20 rounds of real CS. Exclusively available on boomio.com.